What's up everybody? In this video, we're just going to be going over my dividend income for the month, how my portfolio performed, how everything's looking. We'll break down every dividend that paid me, the day they paid me, how much they paid me, and a bunch of different factors because, you know, the entire purpose of this channel is for me to be as transparent as possible so that you have an eye opened to seeing how other investors are doing and that you're not in this process all alone. But before I go any further in this video, all I, say, all I ask is if you enjoy this type of content, you subscribe to the channel, you turn on post notifications for all future videos, you miss out on anything, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and just get straight into the video. So my portfolio right now sits at just below $12,900. What we're going to see is the past week, I'm up 0.7%, which is about $90, $89.58. The past day, I'm actually down $117, so we were up a lot more this week, uh, which is about down... 0.91%. And for the past month, I'm up $403.78, which is about a 3.33% return in all time. We were up a lot and then we went down a lot. And now we're back up to that all time in the green of $166.26, which is a 1.65% return. Not necessarily the best, but it's because the economy and a lot of extrinsic factors are affecting my portfolio. But if we go ahead and just look at everything in my fund has done over the past few months after over the past month tech and cloud computing is up a lot 6.88 percent in the green for tech and cloud computing income fund is up 4.68 percent banking and fintech pretty flat down 0.67 percent consumer and stores down 1.45 percent real estate up 3.36 percent and restaurants and food which as you probably know by now is only starbucks in my portfolio so that is how we're looking as of currently track your dividends. We have a lot of dividends that came in this month, a good amount. April is going to be a big month. Expect to make about $49 in dividends. Now, one thing I want to keep you like kind of in check with is understanding it's I'd like the automation of these types of tools like track your dividends, but I also like to manually calculate everything and I have manually calculated everything. I'm going to show you how much dividend income I made from each dividend stock in just a second. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's a list of every single ticker that paid me this month. There was an individual 15 different tickers that did pay me and the date for everything. If we go ahead and Visa, the tick ticker V is Visa stock. This month they paid me 35 cents in dividends. Nothing insane, but 35 cents of passive income is better than anything less than that. So I'll take it. Good stuff. All these are being reinvested, as you probably know. Then we have XYLD, which is a very big monthly income ETF, very high yield, one of my favorite high yield ETFs, in my personal opinion. And this month, they actually paid me twice. You'll see right here, they paid me right here on the 2nd of March, and they also paid me on the 29th of March. But they paid me $8.55 for the first time, which is a pretty big number. Doing the math on the top of my head, that puts us at $8.90 right now. So just two payments by the first two days of March. If we actually even add in QILD, who also paid me another $0.86, cents, that's like almost $10 in two days from doing absolutely nothing from just dividend investing. And remember, the consistency in being consistent, continue to deposit money, continue to reinvest your dividends, and making those right investments, increasing your knowledge, all those different factors that come into it, be patient because patience pays, and it's important to continue to be pretty consistent with your dividend investing. But then we got Jeppy, who paid me $1.46 in dividends this month on March 4th. We have Microsoft, who paid me $2.72, which I really do like to see. $2.70 from Microsoft is a pretty good thing. I do believe in this company. You know, They're one of my biggest holdings, and the yield isn't super high right now. But the yield on cost is what I'm trying to get up. As we can see on my portfolio, which we'll look into in a minute, my yield on cost has actually increased a lot. And as it used to be, it was a lot, a lot higher than my actual dividend yield, and which is what you would like to see. And then it went down below, and it's actually started to increase it back up. Now looking at ticker O, they paid me on March 15th $1.19 in dividends, which is pretty solid. Ticker SPYD spy dividend on March 23rd, they paid me $3.06. Then we have Home Depot who paid me $2.52. NVIDIA, there's been a lot of talk about NVIDIA over the past few days and their stock. 
They paid me a, just a slight six cents on March 24th. And then we have SCHD, who paid me $1.27 at a Schwab's dividend fund. XYLD coming in again, paying me a little bit more than last time, $8.55 to $8.86. That's kind of just like almost a visual of seeing how it all works out, how adding money, how being consistent, reinvesting your dividends, all comes into play and it continues to get higher and higher and higher. So this time it went from 55 cents to 86 cents, which is a 31 cent gain. Maybe next time it'll be a 35 cent, 36 cent gain. And then it'll get 36 to 45 cents. You know what I'm saying? It's a continuous compounding, being patient because patience pays. Then we got QILD who paid me again from 86 cents to 89 cents. We really love to see these numbers growing. Ticker AVGO. Now these have not come in yet. I'm recording this on March 31st. And with M1 Finance, it's a little bit, usually a day delay to get your dividends, but I highly suggest you use M1 Finance. Use the link in the description below. Deposit $50, get another $50 free. It's insane, the free money that they're handing out. Go get it while you can. But it, ticker AVGO is paying me $3.94 this month, which is a really good thing. Dividend growth stock, a lot of potential now in my personal opinion. Then you have ticker SPHD, a monthly dividend ETF. And they paid me three dollars and eight cents. I've been holding on to my SPHD for a while now, like over two years, and it's a really good high yield ETF. But I think I'm going to stray away from it. I think it's got too much weight in my portfolio compared to my goals. So I'm not going to trim out of it. I'm just going to not buy into it as much. And then we have Pine, a REIT, and this month they paid me three dollars and twenty-seven cents. If we go ahead and do this math, let's total it out real quick. For the month of March, we made $42.08 in dividends. That's a really good number. So I'm going to take that $42.08 and put it into my March. I'm just going to type this in, 42.08. That means year-to-date total for the first three months, we've made $109.75 in this dividend portfolio. So that's how much my nearly $13,000 dividend portfolio paid me in dividends this month. And a lot of people might be sitting around being like, well, only $42.08. But in reality, my yield is low because I want it to be low. And I expect it to be higher in the future. Who knows? If the market plays with it and it gets my yield and cost really high, I'll let it ride like that. If I need to sell and go into more higher yield ETFs and stocks, I'll do that. Not everything is about getting current income. You know, I'm a younger investor. Everybody has different investing timelines. So keep that in mind. You might see like, well, why would I invest twelve thousand, thirteen thousand dollars to make forty-two? And that's just one month when you think about it. You know, you got the years and let it compound, and then it gets added into more, and the appreciated gains. You know, you just have to like, take all factors into consideration, and a ton of different things happen. But my goals are different. You know, if I really wanted to, I mean, I'll just do the math right now. I'll show you. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a calculator. Let's go ahead right here. If I wanted to get a way more dividend income, 13000 and let's say I really went high and I did 7.5 yield, I mean, I could be making $975 a year, which translates to about $81, so two times as much as I made this month in dividends. So keep that in the back of your mind. You know, it's not all about having current high yield. I really want to stress that. But if we go ahead and look at my portfolio, I'm just going to show you my portfolio real quick. My yield on cost has increased to 3.38% when my yield is about 3.32%. Annual income of about $430. So we're looking pretty solid right now in my personal opinion, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. So if you enjoy this type of content, enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to miss out on any future videos. Check out M1 Finance, deposit $50, get a free $50. It's insane, the promotions. Thank you for making it to the end of this one, and I will see you at the next video.